All right, I am back. Oh, let me fix this. Trying to do this nighttime. Drive around. We'll see how it works. So I got the iPhone on, and I got the dash cam. Then I just have to figure out or get the audios to sync together because I. Sorry, I forgot to clap. That helps sync it. The audio on the um, the dash cam is horrible. Really horrible. So, see how many people are out on this strip right here. Crowded than ever, man. I'm just gonna spend like 20 minutes. I want to go back into some of the side streets and um, kind of see if. How it looks when there's uh you know not a lot of lights out it looks good the uh the camera at night it definitely does definitely does Try and see if I recognize anyone, but you know that can be a little tricky at night. I've always had I'm colorblind, so I, I've always had trouble at night seeing. Oh wait, was that? Damn it! I think that was Amanda back there. I don't know. Uh, you know what? We'll go down this way. iPhone works great at night as long as there's no lights because the uh, there's a real bad glare on the headlights and stuff but I'm wondering if it'll be any better with the new iPhone tomorrow you know I don't know was awesome uh, people sending Kelsey a couple dollars to help her out before she goes into the uh, rehab tomorrow you know let's hope she goes I like her Kelsey's a good girl good woman Amber was one of the first people that helped Kelsey when Kelsey first got down there.
I'm gonna go up around a park and then come back down Kensington Ave. Shorts back there, his legs were so swollen. You know, everyone's from that, from the um, bacterial infections, and they all have their hands, feet swollen like that. Crazy how bad the glare is on the iPhone camera. It is a huge difference. Stinks down here right now. Smells like fish for some reason. I can't believe what good, how much better Amber was doing. That was amazing to see her like that. I, I'm not even gonna lie, I, I did not expect it. Be honest with you, man. I come down here and, and I, I, with the intention of doing interviews and stuff, and I just, man, it's, I get sad down here and I just don't want to do them.
I figure we just do about a 20 minute drive around and you guys can let me know how it is at night, if it's even worth doing them at night. Go see what's down at Huntington. Yeah, you guys saw what it looks like walking around down here at night with the, the walk around video. It is not a pretty sight. Not a pretty sight at all. So crazy it seems like well and I guess well no it doesn't even make sense because they don't have phones a lot of the times say the escorts doing you know online ads and stuff like that because you just don't see them walking around here as much anymore well here's one here but you know what I mean it's just not as I don't see it as that much I don't know if it's are they too high because of the trank are they doing online work? I don't know what the answer is. So a lot of people don't understand is, um, you know, years ago, for the longest time, that's all Kensington Ave was. It was a, it was a known spot to go pick up a girl. So you usually go, you know, up this way more, up that way more to us, you know, they call it the Badlands. North Philly, you'd buy your drugs up there. And then if you wanted to get a girl or anything, you'd drive down here and just drive up Kensington Avenue. and you'd find them. Normally, like I, they'd always, it was always down at Sedgley under that bridge I, I go to. Um, and I just out of, you know, just remembering how it used to be, I always just think that they're going to be there, you know, when I go look for interviews and stuff, and they're just not walking around like they used to. And a lot of that could be, um, you know, it's winter now, it's cold, so it's just stopped, but it's starting to warm up, and then... You know, the other side of that is it, a lot of the girls just doing online um, escorting. Um, if one of these girls gets picked up down here on the Ave, they might get $40 for a blowjob. Now, if 
they get picked up a mile down the street in let's say Port Richmond off of a dating website or an escort website they might get $80 for that or $100 for that blowjob so there is a big huge incentive for them to do the online one you know See who's down here. Wow. Empty. Something's going on. I see lights all over the place. Yeah. You can see, well, you guys can't see them, but up straight ahead, there's lights going off like fucking crazy. Looks like they might be stopping at Kensington and Allegheny. I don't know though. Thanks, Dan. You know what, I'll just go down to Sedgley and then call this a drive around. 
try and go home and and uh, figure out how to sync the audio. But if this one does good at night, I want to go over to Southwest Philly and West Philly and do them there too. There's a heavy set um, Spanish girl back there at the uh, what am I trying to say? At the Tioga Park and uh, I tried to talk to her and she's one with the mental health issues, another one and it, it's just heartbreaking. Just really upsetting. Oh, here's a cop right here. They got the guy back there. I just realized how freaking low my <laughs> gas tank is. Ooh, I have some chicken tikka masala at home to eat when I get home too. left just to show you guys like right well right where the um all those cops were with they arresting that guy under that bridge there out to this way this little strip here used to be filled with girls walking Alright guys, that's about, I think, good enough, 25 minutes. <laughs>